Solving Systems of Linear Inequalities. So a system of linear inequalities is very similar to a system of equations, um, except you have inequalities. All right? The solutions <clears throat> to a system of linear equations is going to be that one point, unless those lines overlap, um, it's going to be that one point where the lines cross, um, where they intersect. The solutions to a system of linear inequalities are is any point where they overlap, right? Where their solutions overlap. So for my red line, everything shaded red is um, a solution for that equation. My blue, everything shaded blue is a solution. So for the system, anything that's kind of a purple, where it's both blue and pink, is going to be a solution. All right. So concept one is identifying solutions of a system of linear inequalities. This is done very similar to um, a system of linear equations. All right, um, you're just going to be plugging in the values to your variables to see if that to see if this ordered pair or your given ordered pair is a solution to both inequalities. Okay. If it is a solution to both, it's a solution to the system. If it isn't a solution to either one, um, then it's going it's not going to be a solution. Okay? So if it's if it works for one but not the other, still not a solution. Because that would be somewhere in here where it's within the shaded area for one inequality, but not the other. Alright. So we're going to go through our normal steps. Plugging it in, I've got 2 and 5, so I've got, uh, oops, starting off on the wrong foot. So I've got 5 as my y, so I've got 5 is less than 2 times 2 plus 3, and I've got 5 is greater than or equal to 1 half times 2 minus 4. Okay, So 2 times 2 should be 4, plus 3 is 7. So I should have 5 is less than 7, and um, 5 is greater than or equal to 1 half times 2 would be 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 would be a negative, or sorry, 1 minus 4 would be a negative 3. So, is 5 less than 7? Yes. Is 5 greater than or equal to negative 5? Yes. So this is a solution. So that works. Okay, let's do another one. Alright, negative 2 and 4. So I've got 4 greater than or equal to negative, negative 2 plus 2. And 4 greater than negative 4 times negative 2 uh, minus 6. Okay. And so negative negative 2 would be a positive 2 plus 2. So for this top one I have 4 greater than or equal to 4. <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me, because this has the equal to sign. This is a solution for this inequality. If it wasn't, I could stop there. Right? As soon as I find one that's not a solution, I can stop. I don't need to check the other one. Um, but in this case it is, so we need to go on. 4 greater than negative 4 times negative 2 minus 6. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. Minus 6 would be 2. So is 4 greater than 2? Yes. So this one is also a solution to these two inequalities, to the system of inequalities.